Robbie was a child who was quite different in many ways. Uh, so when he arrived to Kate and to me, he was something of an instant celebrity amongst all of our friends. He was a very, very lively and sociable little boy. Two years after Kate, Robbie's mummy died, and after a series of headaches, which were unexplained, Robbie was diagnosed with a medulloblastoma, which is a cancerous brain tumour. Seven or eight months after Robbie's initial treatment finished, unfortunately he was diagnosed with a recurrence and he was given um, not more than six months to live, at which time our entire outlook changed. Um, and we eventually lost him on the 8th of February 2016, here at home. It was at the end of Robbie's treatment, Valentine's Day, February 2015, that we had our first event. It was a car rally, it was called Robbie's Rally. And Robbie himself waved the chequered flag at the event and cheered everybody on. And it was that point, because we were surprised at how much funds had been raised, that we decided that we would turn it into a permanent charitable fundraising machine. Three years have been completed. The NHS are going to pay for our outpatient service from next year, which is fantastic. Now, we need to continue our fundraising to build a ward at Southampton Hospital. We're going to build a four-bed ward, and this is going to be a sanctuary for children with all sorts of brain injury. Whatever it is, these kids need a quiet specialist ward in the hospital where all the staff are specialists in children's brain injuries. We can't do this without community support. And in our business, because there's so few children, actually a little money goes a long way.